When the Calamity returned, almost everyone living in central Hyrule was killed. The kingdom was broken, and those who could not flee the Cataclysm were swallowed by malice or obliterated by the Sheikah killing machines. A small number of people were able to escape the initial attack, many of them fleeing alongside Link and Zelda towards Hateno and Kakariko villages. This was only possible because, when the night was darkest and Ganon's victory was all but assured, Zelda's powers awakened. Link sacrificed himself for his princess, and her love for her chosen knight unlocked the sacred magic that lay dormant within her. Among those who managed to reach safety was an unnamed Sheikah man who had served as the court poet for the royal family. This man had chronicled the history of the Calamity Ganon in song, and the beast's return was no different. The poet had witnessed the siege of Fort Hateno and Zelda's awakening firsthand and wrote it into verse, believing that at some point Link would return and save Hyrule from the Calamity. The Sheikah musician lived out most of the remainder of his days in the safety of his hometown, Kakariko Village, and by the time Link does wake from the Shrine of Resurrection, the poet is long dead. But his songs live on in his student, Cass, the Wandering Rito. Today, let's look at the lore and story of the Big Blue Bird Bard, Cass. Cass was born at some point during Link's hundred year slumber. We don't know for sure how old he is, or how old the average Rito will live, but the Rito Elder doesn't recognise Link, and believes that he must be the descendant of a champion rather than a champion himself, meaning the oldest Rito alive probably wasn't around a century ago. Cass appears considerably younger than Kennelly, placing his birth at some point during the hundred years Link spent in the Shrine of Resurrection. He grew up in Rito Village amongst his people, eventually finding his wife, Amali, and fathering five children. But Cass had a greater purpose, and he began his tutelage with the unnamed Sheikah poet. The pair developed a firm friendship, and the court musician revealed to Cass many secrets of his life. Before the Calamity, Cass's teacher had lived in Hyrule Castle. He was knowledgeable about the ancient Sheikah and forgotten civilizations, and would often accompany Zelda to investigate ancient ruins. The musician was a similar age to the princess, and though he knew it was doomed to remain unrequited, he fell in love with her. But the princess had eyes for another, her chosen knight, Link. The court poet hated the hero for this, appalled that Zelda could love someone who was neither nobility nor royalty. After the Calamity struck and his kingdom crumbled around him, the poet spoke to Impa in Kakariko Village. She explained to him the truth of what had happened to Ash Swamp, and what this meant for the future of Hyrule. With this, he knew what he must do. Despite having hated the hero for his relationship with the princess, he chose to devote his life to helping him. The hero who had sealed away the Calamity the last time it had appeared, 10,000 years ago, had left behind songs for his successor, which the court poet set out to find. He spent the long, sad years during the Age of Burning Fields researching these ancient songs, all in the hope of saving the girl he loved. But he wrote his own, too. Impa had convinced him of the legend of the hero, and he poured this into song, inspired by the events he'd witnessed at Ash Swamp. An ancient hero, a calamity appears, now resurrected after 10,000 years. Her appointed knight gives his life, shields her figure, and pays the price. The princess's love for her fallen knight awakens her power, and within the castle, the calamity is forced to cower. But the knight survives, in the shrine of resurrection he sleeps, until from his healing dream he leaps. Believing Link would return, the Sheikah Bard travelled across Hyrule, piecing together the lost songs that had been passed down in their respective regions. Zelda was 17 at the time of the Great Calamity, putting Cass's teacher at around the same age at the time. We know that some Sheikah can live well into their hundreds like Impa and Robbie. It seems that Cass began his travels after Link woke from the Shrine of Resurrection, as he notes in his journal that Sheikah Towers had recently risen around Hyrule which means that it's possible that his teacher died not long before this, aged a little over a hundred years old. But his life's work wasn't finished. He hadn't finished discovering the ancient hero's songs, and had left a work of his own uncompleted, a song about Hyrule's greatest warriors, named the Champion's Ballad. This is where Cass's story begins. Before his teacher's death, he promised him that he would pass on all of the ancient songs to the hero, and so he leaves his family to begin his work. 
In a small hut in Washer's Bluff, Cass records a journal of his travels, detailing the areas to which he plans to fly and piece together the ancient songs. All but one of these turn out to be clues to the locations of Sheikah shrines, with one revealing the location of a cache of rupees stored by the ancient hero for his successor. Though he misses his wife and children back in Rito village, Cass soars across the kingdom, standing at each place about which the songs had been passed down, playing the ancient melodies on his bandonian and singing their cryptic lyrics, pondering on their meaning. And at each of these locations, he meets Link, the hero his late teacher once despised. The Hylian Champion helps the Rito solve each of the ancient hero's riddles, fulfilling the promise Cass had made to his teacher. With his guidance, Link finds the Sheikah Shrines and bests their challenges, tempering himself piece by piece into the hero destined to defeat Ganon. His work completed, Cass returns to his family, finally able to rest. But there was another song, written by Cass's teacher. At some point, Cass searches through the court poet's notes, and discovers the unfinished Champion's Ballad. He also finds another ancient song describing a fifth divine beast, and a photograph of the champions taken a century ago. After Link journeys across the kingdom and frees the four divine beasts from Ganon's influence, rescuing the spirits of the deceased champions and once again bringing hope to Hyrule, Cass meets Link on the Great Plateau. The hero had been contacted telepathically by Zelda from the castle, who informed him to return to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here, he received a message from the Sheikah monk Maz Koshia, instructing him to complete a series of challenges to prove himself worthy of piloting his own divine beast. This coincided with what Cass had found in his teacher's notes. The unfinished song detailed the trials undergone by the four champions before they piloted their beasts. And so, as Link travelled across the kingdom in their footsteps, so too did Cass, piecing together the unfinished melody and weaving it into a complete song. Link proves himself once again to the ancient Sheikah, ultimately defeating Maz Koshia in a personal combat trial and claiming the Master Cycle Zero as his own divine beast. As he exits the Shrine of Resurrection for the final time, he once again meets Cass, who stands looking out over Hyrule, his teacher's song finally completed. The song tells the story of the champion's inauguration ceremony, the moment they were appointed their sacred task, and of the begrudging friendship between them. Just like Cass's teacher wanted, the story is so vivid that it awakens a lost memory inside Link, bringing him closer to the friends he lost. After this, Cass's journey is truly at an end. He pieced together all of the ancient songs and passed them on to Link. By doing this, he serves as a messenger between heroes, between Links, who have only communicated between themselves before on a handful of occasions, and he completed the life's work of his teacher, a man who put aside his own feelings for the sake of the kingdom. Cass is one of Breath of the Wild's most charming original characters, and I'd love to see him make a return in the sequel. Link notably lacked a musical instrument this time, something which is usually a staple of the character, so perhaps Cass could return to teach Link the Bandonian, to play music and write songs just like his predecessor did 10,000 years ago. What do you think about Cass? Would you like to see him return? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like or subscribe if you haven't already for more Zelda content. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.